Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to use an arpeggio inside the performance section of the Roland System 8. So first off, before we can put an arpeggio inside the performance, let's make a basic performance uh, for our example. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to performance right here. Rather than search for a performance, let's create one really quick. So I'm gonna press and hold the shift button, hit the performance button, and if you look at the screen, it says performance initialize. And I'm gonna say yes, so enter. Great, so now we have a completely blank performance to start to work with. So now let's choose the sounds we're gonna use in this performance. So I'm gonna press and hold the upper, and I am gonna use A5, which is that rich strings, and I really love the sound. I might use it a little bit much. Uh, let's go to the lower, press and hold lower, and I'm gonna use G2. Great, all right, so now that we have our two sounds, let's give them a quick listen and see what, we are, what we're working with. Now remember, if I wanna hear the particular sounds by themselves, I can turn on and off the part buttons. So let's hear the upper part first. So that's the upper part, which is that string that I love. Uh, I think it's A5, and now let's hear the lower part by itself. Okay, so that's that part, and that particular part is what I'm gonna to use to put the arpeggio on. All right, so first off, let's turn on our arpeggio and see what happens. Let's make sure both parts are on, and let's play a chord. So what's happening there is you're not able to hear the string because the string, string is actually arpeggiating with the uh, lower sound. So let's go ahead and learn how to adjust that right now. So very easily, just press the menu button and now I'm gonna use my cursors here and I am gonna go into performance edit. Once I'm in the performance edit, I'm gonna select it by pressing the enter button and now I am gonna cursor over until we get to the arpeggio section. So there it says arpeggio. It gives you a choice. Where is the arpeggio coming from? Where is it sourced from? And it's sourced from the lower. I could choose upper, but I'm gonna say I want it to be sourced from the lower section. And then if I cursor to the right, it asks me what's the destination of that arpeggio. Well, currently right now as a default, it goes to upper and lower. Uh, that's not what I want. I can either have it just go strictly to upper, but I wanted to go strictly to lower. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna make it so uh, you'll hear the arpeggio in the lower section, but I'll be able to play chords with the upper section. All right, so let's give it a try. I'll go ahead and exit right here, and let's see if uh, we did it. So you guys go ahead and try this at the house, make this performance and make an arpeggio in the, on the lower section and keep the upper section uh, with a non-arpeggio. Or if you want, go ahead and have the two arpeggios, but remember, uh, they won't, there won't be two separate arpeggios, it'll be the same one. And in the next video, I'll show you how to get around that and actually go ahead and integrate the step sequencer and the arpeggio section simultaneously. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you later.